So around about the, the 70s, it started going through arm wrestling, peg table, the donut cup, and the, the, the fights took place more like in the cinema. What division or class are you oh, on? 80 kilograms. Masters, left, right, and uh, open age, left, and right. Everybody's helpful, and it's almost like a community family called up. So the food, which is great to be loved. It's kind of quite what you think it's going to be when you walk up there. But then staying on task and being prepared to go. The worst thing that happens in arm wrestling is overthinking and then missing the go or not being able to execute because they're spending too much time trying to strategize on what's happening. Well, it's different for other sports because it's so individual. You'll never see any other sport this individual where you have to go and it's all mental. It's all it's all you doing it. No one else. No one's else helping. No one's giving you the ball. It's all you. Come to practice and get excited. And then come to the tournament with us and win your first match and you'll come back. And you to get your blood just like a rental rush. So you need the flexibility. I'm 61 years old. I've been bullying since 1967. Bill or some of them on the, our arm wrestling message board that give me the name Bumbreaker Coral. Uh, he was very upset with me. I didn't even know till almost a couple of years later that I broke his thumb. Uh, the arm wrestling group is like one big thing. Uh, with arm wrestling, you know, there's such a huge demographic age group, so it's. It's one sport that everybody's done at least once in a while. Uh, we've got some grandkids, we've got, we've got parents, we've got grandparents, we've got great grandparents. They're all in the sport. I mean, the, the age group is from a very, very young child to the oldest on the team is 84 years old.